What is up, YouTube? Welcome to Pan Fro Games. In today's video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to shiny hunt Carbink in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet with this brand new exploit method. And of course, guys, like these type of content, enjoy these videos. Please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. I really appreciate it. Consider supporting the channel by joining the Pan Fam by hitting that join channel member button below. So let's begin with the location of Carbink. And to get a shiny Carbink first, we're going to need to go to the Crystal Pool. And from the crystal pool flight area, we're just going to walk to the left and we're going to go to the cave where the carbings are located. So going past the pool here towards the back wall, you're going to see a cave that you can just like walk right over into. And now with this, we're going to fall down here. We're going to float down a little bit and there's going to be a cave entrance right here. This is the carbing cave. And you're going to see Glamora also spawns in here as well. We don't want that. We're going to set up a sandwich to actually deal with this situation. Now, to set up a picnic in this room can actually be a bit difficult. So I'm right at the entrance of the cave here. Try to give you a general idea of where I actually am. And now if you walk six full steps, so one, two, three, four, five, six, you're going to be able to set up a picnic in this room. So you can do it around this area. It doesn't even be exactly six or seven, but you'll be able to do it in this area. And now we're gonna set up a fairy type sandwich to isolate shiny hunt for this. If you do a rock type sandwich, you're gonna get the Glamora and you don't want that. We're gonna use one tomato, one salty and one spicy. This ensures that we get uh, encounter level three for the carving. So it's gonna be the only thing that actually spawns in this cave and relatively easy Sam. And we got sparkling title and counter level three for fair type Pokemon and ready to begin this hunt. So instead of just hitting Y and leaving the picnic, what you wanna do is you wanna walk as far as possible away from the picnic and then hit Y and exit the picnic and then walk out and you sort of don't want the carbings to be in sight because this is actually gonna end up respawning the room full of carbing. So wait just a little bit of time and you can get a room about like 10 to 15 carbings. So see, we got a lot of carbings right here and then do the same thing. Just like walk towards the center, try to set up a picnic. If it says that, you know, you're gonna have to like nail the positioning of the exact location of where to put your picnic Maybe a little bit further. I would just recommend doing small paces and there we go. So you just gotta remember your general distance into the room. And then once again, we're gonna do a picnic reset method. So go all the way back out, leave the picnic, leave you're gonna spawn in there you can see them start popping up so you know it's working pretty much going to the second rock is where you want to be it's gonna be pretty good we're gonna go a little bit past it a little bit past the second rock so you might get a few more spawns a little bit faster but as you can see we got a bunch of spawns on the right side right there this is a relatively easy shiny hunt it's just a little bit annoying that you know you got to Remember to walk all the way back and just keep hitting that picnic reset. Uh, you might accidentally fall down the hole here, but if you do, you can use your Rotom phone and just like actually come back right up here by hitting the Y button. It'll be like an accidental fall. So once again, we want to wait a little bit longer than that and wait too long. I don't want to wait to get your max spawns. I didn't wait as long as I could have. Once again, walk into the middle, do that. So just keep on doing this. Wait long enough so you get your 10, 15 spawns. Make sure to run away from the picnic and then despawn the picnic. Then go down here. Wait a little bit longer. And we're going to be looking for that shiny carving. I mean, it's very obvious. It's a darker rock and it's a better like blue color on it too. So you'll be able to notice it from the pack for sure. And just like that, in about 19 minutes, we got our shiny carving. And it's a very obvious shiny. I mean, it's a gorgeous shiny for sure. You won't miss it in the crowd. But I mean... The big thing here is making sure you do your picnic reset while you're walking away so you can guarantee this room gets a good amount of spawns. If you don't, then the room's not going to have a great amount of spawns. But there you go. That is how you easily shiny hunt for carving in Pokemon Scarlet Invited to the Teal Mask DLC. And of course, guys, if you like this type of content and enjoy this video, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. I really appreciate it. Let me know in the comment section below any other cool shiny hunting methods that you want me to cover or what Pokemon you want me to cover or anything else. I want to see it. Anyways, guys, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out and have a good one.